Hi YouTube. So by popular demand, I'm finally doing an update video on the tough built knee pads that I bought in January. It's basically a year in review. I've been using these for a year and I'm going to let you know what the experience has been so far and kind of give you a small description of what the knee pads do. All right, so here the sucker is right here. Real good hard shell on the outside. And you can definitely see I have scratched this thing to death. I've put some dings and dents in it. All of this could have been damaged to my knee, which fortunately because of these knee pads, it was just damaged to knee pads. So hard outer shell, rounded mind you. It's very rounded outer shell. If you can even still see this gel on the inside, it's actually still in really good condition despite being a year old. All right, so this is basically what it looks like when they're on their knees. They bend with your knees, stay in place very well. And one more thing to show you is the adjustment that they have on them. Once you have adjusted the strap where you want the strap to be, you can actually just pull it right back over and there's a clip on these that gives them just a little bit of extra snugness and also keeps them, it keeps the tension where you want it. So as I stated, very hard outer shell, very hard. And where they are rounded, they give you a little more freedom of movement from side to side, you can go a little bit more forward, you can rest a little farther backwards, and they stay, once again, in place, and they're comfortable. So a quick sum up of the pros, obviously they are very superior as far as protection goes. You get the protection on the sides as well, and that they stay in place on your leg, and they are rounded to give you a little extra movement. That's particularly good for me because I lay floor for a living. So let's talk about a couple of the cons. So one con that I have, and it kind of feels like a cheap shot, is you know they don't weigh a lot overall they're not really bulky but they certainly feel bulky when you're wearing them when you're walking around in them like if i have to get off my knees and go out to the van or something to get something i feel the need to almost take them off because they just they just feel bulky and in the way another con that i've come across is uh, now for me specifically i like to wear a lot of relaxed fit stretch tight jeans, a little softer material and it has some stretch to it. Now when I'm wearing those jeans with these knee pads, everything is fine. But if I was wearing like a regular old hard denim contractor pants or just some other, some other sort of hard denim jean that has no stretch or anything to it, these straps on the back of the legs combined with that hard jean they just make life really miserable within a couple of hours of wearing these. Now, maybe this happens with every type of knee pad you have out there. Um, I haven't necessarily experienced it myself wearing those same jeans with other knee pads, but uh, for these specifically, they definitely, like I said, if you're not wearing the right type of pants with them, they're gonna rub you the wrong way. Now, a lot of you watching this video probably already know this to be common knowledge, but uh, not everybody does, which is why I feel I need to express this. But obviously, rounded knee pads you're not going to be able to use in certain types of environments, such as if you're working uh, on an unstable environment or if you're working on a roof or something, you definitely don't want to have the rounded knee pad edge because you can go a little too far and throw yourself off balance and you don't want to be coming off of any roofs. But for me, being a flooring installer, these actually work excellent for me because it gives me the ability to move around and stretch and reach for a tool without having to reposition a flat knee pad. So it's actually a pro and a con depending on how you look at it. To sum everything up, these uh, these were definitely worth the money. They're a really good knee pad. I do feel safe and mostly comfortable in them. However, if you go down to the description, I'm going to put a link in there that leads you to what my main go-to pad is now because I have found a pad, a knee pad that is awesome that I almost forget that I'm wearing sometimes because it's so comfortable and it stays in place as well and it's not as bulky as these are and that's the one I pretty much reach for every day now. So these are still in my trunk. If I ever need them, I'm still going to go get them. You know, these are not trash knee pads to me. They're really good, but uh, there's still some better options out there. All right, that's my year in review with uh, Tough Built Knee Pads. Again, this was mainly by request. I had seen some people asking about an update on them. So here it was. All right, thank you very much if you made it this far and I will see you in the next video. Take care.